Ni hao. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to this important event for us on Surface Pro 3, especially at such a busy time with the important Computex trade show happening now. We built it for people that wanted to view maps, but also make maps. We built it for people that want to read great stories, but more importantly, write great stories. I present to you Surface Pro 3. This also has a big, beautiful screen. Surface Pro 3's screen is 12 inches diagonally. This is a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, 2160 by 1440. 它的它是三比二的比例，然后它的它的景区是full HD. It is full HD with uh, with uh, clear type technology that makes the whites whiter, the blacks blacker, and makes it very comfortable to view for hours. 我们微软有一种功能叫做clear type，它会把它的颜色变得contrast很很强，所以黑色更黑，白色更白。now often, when a computer becomes bigger, it means it also becomes heavier. This is not the case with Surface Pro 3. It weighs in at a mere 800 grams. And again, all of this with an incredibly powerful PC. But I said earlier, we built this incredibly beautiful tablet to be something that could also replace the laptop. So let me show you two things that we did that made it even better than any Surface we built before at replacing the laptop. Uh, the kickstand allows me to set it in my lap and be able to work perfectly or put it on a table and view a movie, anything hands-free. With Surface 2, we introduced a second stop in the kickstand that was particularly good for your lap and for leaning into your computer. But customers told us they wanted even more positions for the kickstand, and so we gave them every single one they could want. So with Surface Pro 3, I have a full friction kickstand that allows me to place the device in any position that I want, all the way down to a canvas mode. So All of this is done with a great feel and the same great sound of closing your Surface. The second thing that we knew was incredibly important for replacing the laptop was having a fantastic keyboard that worked with the Surface. We 
We took the best of every keyboard we had ever made, thin, light, great typing, and backlighting when plugged into the surface. We made it even better with a 63% larger trackpad that is incredibly fluid and works beautifully. But we also made it work even better in your lap. So I'm going to click my keyboard in. And you can see that um, it works great in my lap, but there's a little bit of twist that can happen in terms of how it connects to the device. So we added a very simple feature that is quite powerful, which is the ability to click the keyboard into the device again. You might want to lift your hands up. I'll do that one more time. And now it is connected to the device and incredibly stable, in addition to a more natural typing angle for your hands. In addition to the great kickstand and the keyboard, we of course have USB port and mini display out um, so that you can use it like a laptop. And we have a brand new Surface docking station coming out for Surface Pro 3. So I'm going to walk over to this docking station here. The docking station has five USB ports, including three USB 3.0. Docking station USB port, USB port. It has gigabit Ethernet, of course, power and sound. But it can also power up to a 4K monitor beautifully. Uh, but of course, the main reason that I'm going to use it is to use my programs, all Windows programs. So Windows the so you can see here that I have all of Office running on this PC. And any application that I can run on a desktop, I can run on a Surface Pro 3. So for doctors, this means electronic medical record applications that have been built over the years for Windows. Or for architects and structural engineers and mechanical engineers, I can run my CAD applications on this device. After the Reddit. You can see that I'm using a mouse. I can scroll in using the mouse. Okay. I can do anything that I want to be able to do on this device, whether it's docked and being used like a laptop or if I'm holding it in my hand as a tablet. Surface Pro 3的特点就是说它在办公室的桌子上有 
We've learned a lot from our customers about they, what, what they want to work beautifully on Surface Pro 3. And one of the things that we've heard the most about is people using Adobe Photoshop on our Surface Pros. Um, so I'm going to now undock my Surface Pro 3 and show you a upcoming release of Photoshop that is being built to specifically take advantage of the power, portability, touch, and pen of the Surface Pro 3. Brian, you might want to go there so you don't block the screen. 他现在要第一的就是我们跟我们的合作伙伴 Adobe 一起合作，他们是会做一个 Surface Pro 3做的. So for instance, here I have an incredibly high resolution photo open in Photoshop. 这是一个非常非常大的，很很很极限度很大的这个照片. With just two fingers, I can zoom in to anywhere in the photo. I can rotate to get to just the part that I want. I can use my pen to touch up the photo to do any processing that I want. And it's very easy to navigate, for instance, to get right back out to the full picture. This is the kind of thing that is enabled with an incredibly powerful device that is also beautiful, beautiful and portable. We're very proud that we built a tablet that can replace your laptop. But we're not stopping there, because we also know that there's a very important productivity device called a pad of paper and pen. We've set out to take the very best of each and bring them into Surface as well. Let's start with the pen. The Surface pen is a pen. It's not a cheap piece of plastic. It's not a stylus designed to fit into a tiny hole. Pens are the size that they are, the weight that they are, because we've grown to love writing with them. Um, the pen can be used for many things. For instance, when I get on an airplane, one of the first things that I do is I open the airplane magazine and try and do the Sudoku before the flight takes off. <laughs> and for instance, now with Surface Pro, people can start to do Sudoku using a pen again, not just with a finger finding numbers. So for instance, I can put my hand on the screen, it won't move around, and write a number in. You'll see many other applications that start to take advantage of the pen. We wanted to make it just that simple with a Surface Pro as well. And so here I am, I'm on my start screen, and I'm going to put this device to sleep. What happens when I put the cover on and place it in my bag? Just this morning I was having breakfast with Rowan. And he had some great ideas that I wanted to capture, so I reached into my bag and pulled out my Surface Pen. 
你看他这么简单，我们今天早上吃早饭的时候，他想写一些笔记，他就把 Surface Pro 三从他的包包里面拿出来。Just like with a pad of paper, all I have to do is click the pen and start writing. So watch what happens when I click the pen. 你看他使用这个笔，它有上面有个小小的按钮，它一按会发生什么事情？它会自动醒来，而且不得，但是醒来，它会把 OneNote 我们的电子的对不对笔记本打开。I have a blank sheet of paper, even though I didn't even unlock or log in to my Surface Pro 3. 请问它有没有输入它的密码？没有，对不对？它有没有说要开？某一个 A P P 也没有，它就自动开成 OneNote， 而且是一一新的页。Just like with a pad of paper, I don't have to be afraid to put my hand on the screen, and I can start to write very comfortably. 它就跟一个纸做的笔记本一模一样的，它可以把它自己手放上去，对不对？可以写字。<笑> with just another click of the button. I get a fresh new page, and that's saved into my cloud storage with OneDrive. Ah, 再按一次那个按钮，它就会存那一页到我们云端的 OneDrive 上面，然后它会有一个新的页出现，就真的很方便。The other place that I take notes a lot is when I rip out magazine articles or rip out newspaper articles and want to take notes for other people. 所以很多客户像他。一模一样的需求，大概媒体朋友都会做这件事情，对不对？就是在网站上或者杂志上面看到，哎，这个这篇东西我需要保留，要把它撕出来或者留保留下来，让它写一些笔记。I'm not able to do that though when I find things on web pages unless I have a Surface Pro 3. 可是如果在网站上，要怎么存那个那个那一页，然后还可以写笔记呢？除非你有 Surface Pro 3。So, for instance, here I am on the Surface web page. I can scroll around, and let's say I really like this picture and how that treatment works, and I want to tell my team. This is our Surface 的网站，对不对？他很想要呃，比如保留这个照片，这个图片。Um, all I have to do this time is I'm going to click the button twice. 他这个按钮按两次。Sorry, I clicked once. Let's go back. What this will do is it recognizes that I want to capture something from the page that I was on. So it knows that if you click it twice, it knows that you want to keep this website. And so, for instance, now I can take my pen and select everything that I want. And when I let go, it takes it right into my notes. So it's so easy, right? Click twice, click twice. 然后用笔把它选出来，它就会把随便你选的东西，无论是呃文字或者是图片，保留下来在 OneNote 里面。And so then I can write on it. 现在当然可以写笔记了。And then share my notes or file it away for my own use. 对啊，然后这个可以分享给别人，对不对？或者可以自己存着。But we're more excited for what people are going to be able to do with it. So we're of course very excited. We have a big hope is how our customers will use it. And we think it's important to compare the Surface Pro 3 with one of the devices that many other people will be considering. Our friend Apple. So we have a scale over here. I'm comparing with a MacBook Pro here. This is also true with a MacBook Air 13 inch. 我们有没有各位媒体朋友有没有一个十三寸的 MacBook Air？ 我们来比一比，天平一下。So first, I'm going to place a Surface Pro 3 with its typing cover onto the scale, and now I'm going to place a MacBook onto the scale. 哦、oh. ，所以你看，我们 Surface Pro 3含键盘轻这么多。Just to make it even more fair, I'm going to put the charger for my Surface Pro 3 
，当然不忘不要忘记啊，还要充电呢、啊。哎，还是更轻。And the pen for my Surface Pro 3. 哦，笔也放上去。And my snack for the afternoon on the Surface Pro 3. 哎，太厉害了吧！<笑> And you can see that it's still light. 所以，如果要拍照的话，也可以欢迎到我们的前面一点哦。She's saying that if they want to take a photo closer, yeah, they'll get a chance of a second. Yeah, I like the Apple idea. <laughs> and I'm not even adding an iPad on there as well. If you want to have a tablet as well, yeah. 请大家不要忘记哦，我们的笔电同时还是平板哦，所以如果要平板的功能，要触控啊，要有平板，还要加 iPad 再上去。I can't wait for you to try the Surface Pro 3s out here, and we can't wait to make them available here in Taiwan. 希望大家有机会今天试试看，自己去去使用一下，去碰碰试试看。然后我们当然尽快要在台湾上市。Thank you very much， 谢谢。当然，除了我想，美国跟呃日本会有一款的产品线呃在下个月线上之外，我们这次是真的跟其他全部的 sub 同时来来来做上市的部分。那我们在什么时候上市呢？我们就在八月底啊、哦。那呃，刚很多好朋友问我说，八月底哪一天呢？敬请期待，我们马上公布。但是八月底呢，一定上市。那上市什么 skill 呢？现在告诉大家，我们上市的 skill 跟价格。当然，在这次，大家很多人在问说，那台湾是不是又只有挑哪几个 skill 上市？不是，这次我们真的有很大的呃 commitment。我们在台湾呢，家用、商用都同时上市，我们的我们的 skill。那包括刚刚其实呃，关于跟汪总都有提到了 i 三的 skill 二四八八八起，然后我们的。I 五的 skill 里面的一二八跟二五六都对到台湾来，最重要呢，很多台湾人喜欢顶级的商品，包括了我们的手表自己就定的十台，我们的 I 七呃二五六跟五一二，因为他真的讲啊定了十台，可能要给媒体朋友们 OK， 那、呃、这个商品呢都在台湾上市。那至于说大家在想的是，大家看到好多很很喜欢的 keyboard， keyboard 会不会呢？当然会啦。我们的五款 skill， 但有四个 skill 呢，先一起上市。但有一款，有一个颜色呢，但我们会在一个特殊的节日来做上市。所以在上市的时候，我们会有黑色、紫色、蓝色跟青色一起做上市部分。那当然，大家当看到 Brian Demo 一放下去的搭配，因为在企业里面非常需要搭配，同步，大家希望的电源线、笔呀都同步。所以这次呢，台湾也是一个很大很大的保障是。我们会在八月底上市，而且全线商品一次被提给商用跟家用的客户。大家是不是可以给我们多几个月来努力？大家鼓掌一下，好不好？好我们都希望所有台湾的消费者呢，可以敬请期待我们的八月底可以有 Surface Pro 三跟大家见面。谢谢。